Well, hello everyone. What is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we're here with episode 28 of Assassin's Creed Unity. In the previous episode, we completed the court mission Les Enrager with Ron, where we basically had to rescue some assassins that had been captured and imprisoned, and then eliminate... Uh, what was his name? I can't quite remember. Um, Jacques Roux is what his name was. So yeah, we killed him. I did that uh, three times in total. You saw the first attempt and we got the three out of four sync points. One is lobby and a level three uh, chest. We came back to do some training and learn how to roll recover, which is basically when you jump off a tall ledge, you can press a button that will reduce the amount of damage that you take. And we finished up by heading up to Port Saint Denis Picking up the viewpoint and as many of the Eclipse Plus as we can, so the only ones we've got left are the three level 3 chests in this region, which we can't do until we finish sequence 9. So, before we crack on with our side missions in that territory, we picked up the one-handed uh, master skill um, at the end of last episode, which is just basically strong attack. So, strong attacks inflict more damage hold X during a fight to use this action. So it's not going to be currently relevant to us because we're working our way up through the heavy weapons a little bit, which we've already got the master skill for. But um, we'll be heading back to one-handed once we've done the first four levels of the heavy weapons. So might as well give it a whirl, get it out of the way now. damage. I mean, it's because we've got like the crappiest sword. I think this is like the first sword. And we're going into level 3 guards. But, it's no worries. There you go. That should be it, probably. Thank you. Nice. Alright, let's um, make sure we swap back to heavy weaponry. Uh, weapons, heavy, long axe. Okay, so back to reality. So let's see. Help Donsonville disrupt the corrupt auction held by Le Band Noir, the Black Band. Coming on here. Jesus Christ. I don't know why you're not charging the attack. Hey. 
Okay. Do you want to take a break anytime soon, pal? Oh my god. Okay, that was a weird. All right, yep, yeah, sure. Just totally didn't want to access the map. That's fine. All right, let's uh, get this enigma over and done with. There you go. Yeah. In the sanctuary of sins, light and shadow dance, and the ignoble nobleman defines his actions with his name. The sanctuary of sins. No, I don't care. Go away. Stop it. I want to look at the map. The sanctuary of sins. Um. Okay. I believe this landmark if I remember correctly, is the brothel. Because I know that Paris Stories is by the Marquis de Sade, if that's what his name is. Hopefully I've got that right. The really enigmatic guy who we encountered in sequence five, I want to say? Maybe four? Yeah, it would have been uh, sequence four. When we were doing with the, the Roi de Thun, he was just sort of like, oh, well, you know, a man has lost a leg. That is, that is the situation, but... Yeah, that, that guy, the, the new king of Vegas. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. There you go, away. Lying in the filth, the fallen godly symbol lights the heresies of the false king's court. Oh, right where the landmark is. Right, the familiar crossroad where decadence is sold, the sadness of the cellar obscured by Roge. Well, that's where crossroads meet, isn't it? Hang on. Decadent, uh, familiar crossroad where decadence is sold. Um, it's rare that a enigma isn't on a landmark. So I reckon it's worth a look at the very least. Oh, I hear an enigma. Oh my, it is. Hey, look at that. Sweet. Alright, that's that done. Uh, now we have... Let's see. Let's do Iscariot the Giant. Uh, so I'll see you when we get there. Alright. But I'll stop to whatever is behind rumours about a giant terrorising a neighbourhood. Iscariot giant towering figure terrorizes his neighborhood. Protect your children, citizens are forced to pay homage to this horrific figure who stalks the streets and alleyways of the Port Saint Denis neighborhood north of the temple. There is no one capable of stopping such a monster. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Some crackpots. Talking utter tosh and nonsense. Excuse me all. I believe I've been requested to put down a giant some so I'm probably just some not a If someone refuses, the giant squeezes the life from them like juice from an orange. A man today refused. And now, he lies dead! Uh-huh. Sure. He sniffs the air as if hunting prey. He tracked a man down today, killed him where he stood. Oh, I thought I was doing a little rhyming slang there. Tracked a man down today. There's a giant. He 
Tudor man, huge, blue and green skin, dressed in black, terrifying. I think you're off your nutter, love. <gasps> My dear husband, look, crushed to death for what? He refused to give everything he had to the giant in Gaia. Oh dear. Wheel, wheel, wheel. The body has a series of broken ribs as if crushed to death by a terrific force. Well, there you go. Well, there's some sort of uh, big boy. You don't even look that. You don't look all that. You're off your rocker. How do I get in? That is a very good question. Ah! It's this place again, where the uh, elusive chest was. Whoop. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I'm gonna kick a giant's bum. Oh wow, okay. Dun, dun, dun. He's a rather staunch fellow, isn't he? I don't want to get into a fight with him just in case he does crush me. I'd rather just let him pass and then sneak up behind him and shove a blade down his throat. Oh, he's, he's coming this way apparently. That was easy. <laughs> Okay, cool. Which just leaves my kingdom for some whores. Which is back of the brothel, of course. So once again, I'll see you when we get there. I was hoping you'd stop by, my dear Honor. I'm aware that you're deeply concerned with justice and so forth. All right, infiltrate a brothel and assassinate the owner. There was a man, Rignon. Who operates a string of brothels just north of here? Imposes horrendous working conditions on his girls. Things would improve markedly if you were to send him to eternal banishment. What's in it for you? Oh, cynicism does not become you, dear boy. Let us say that. Should Grignon's collection of delectable damsels find themselves without a patron, well, my kingdom would necessarily expand, wouldn't it? <laughs> you yeah, dodgy. You're a dodgy guy. Alright, of course he's bloody miles away. There we go. Oh dear. My god! That escalated unnecessarily. Alright, top me up. Alright. Um, yeah, there's another one. Alright, see when we get there. Alright, decides reprieve. Save the Maquet decide from the guillotine by stealing the judicial order for his trial. Citizens, at long last, the sordid and depraved Mackay de Sade is soon to plop his head in a basket. He's charged with monetarism, but in reality, his crimes are sent to far greater depths. Our congratulations to the office of Prosecutor Fakir Tinville in the Grand Chatelet, in anticipation of a successful prosecution. The editor. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my god. He is bleeding miles away. Where are you? You're all the way down here. What are you doing down there? Alright. See you when we get there. Thank you for that. Oh no. Ok, 
Okay, now if you please. The, uh, really? Of all the things. <sighs> Jesus, dude. Alright, go away. I'm not accessing the database. Bugger off. Uh, what do you know? We've got another one. See you when we get back. Dear fellow, I very much appreciate the inexplicable disappearance of my death ward. Now, the joys of retribution. Alright, we have to sound blackmail his enemies by stealing incriminating items. After the removal of the new, my political enemies became reckless. I happen to know that each one is hiding a delightfully salacious secret. Here is a list of items to blackmail them. Steal those items and Vignon's old, debauched neighborhood will remain under my gentle care. I do hate to be a scold, but I really need all of those objects. Of course we're going all the way around the world for him. Why wouldn't we? Alright, so we got one over here. Let's see what they got. Where did you put that letter? What's the problem now? I'm a dead man. Don't be silly. Are you crazy? We have to find it. Alright. That is one item out of the way. What's all that then? Hmm. Alright. Letter from the Archbishop. Alright, let's to manufactory. Let's use one more. <laughs> that is how you dispatch of enemies. Okay, I'll leave them if I can. I'm not confident I can pull off that trick twice. They don't actually seem to care if I actually do things. It's not a restricted area. Alright, cool. So let's drop these back off with Desad. Ah, yes. Thank you, Arno. I take such pleasure in imposing my will on others. Is that wrong? Alright. Is that it? Is that the end of Desaad's reign of terror upon my side missions? Uh, okay, what the hell? The body in the brothel. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, well, I definitely don't think we're going to be completing memory 2 today. I'll put it that far. Solve the gruesome murder of a prostitute. A young woman's body has been brutally whipped, her hands are bound as she's covered in wounds. and gag. Short ropes and a spittle so it's gag all stained in blood. Uh, the diary. Okay, yeah, yeah, go away please. This appears to be the Marquis de Sade's personal diary. It's filled with explicit and disturbingly violent sexual content as well as far-ranging philosophical musings. Oh god, there's men coming and going all the time. I didn't see de Sade last night, but he could have been here. Comes here a lot. It was too dark for me to see him proper, but there were some odd goings on last night. One John came in but didn't stay long enough to really do anything. And then there were two men, but only one went into Susanna's room. 
Hmm. Okay, got a, a whip. A long whip with a tip flecked in blood. There is a ma maker's mark on the handle. Seven rue de Egui. Ego de du Ponsor. I don't know. Uh, still got something else though. Something else in the room. Oh, in the general. Oh, yeah, there it is on the floor. I got more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spikes and hooks. Bloody instruments capable of something. Please go away. I've done enough murder mystery, so now what I need to do. Thank you very much. No, nope, you're just not going away. Alright, yep, sure. But he's just capable of butchering human flesh. Alright. So six locations. Come on, blimey. Hmm. So the Sand Villa. A few corporates here. He told you to light Shut up. Really? Murder a gun? Those days are behind me. But I do enjoy the farce. I did visit Susanna with some frequency, but not last night. I'm sure my valet can confirm my whereabouts. There was a young man, some days ago, perhaps rather too taken with my philosophies. I recommended Susanna to him. It's not impossible he might know something. It's quite all right, Olivier. This may be amusing. Okay. I'm unable to say what the Marquis was engaged in last Cheer, night. My friend. It was a rare night off for me. If any of his personal effects are missing, well, he gets caught up in his activities and becomes careless. He could have left them anywhere. Hmm. Oh, got a knot on the floor. Letter to Valet. I'll meet you there and we'll arrange payments. 50 levers as discussed. Right. Sure, I, I made that whip. Well, I suppose it could belong to Dussard. I sell him all sorts of things. But you know, there's a student, strange fella. He wanted to buy all the same things that Dussard bought. Seemed to think Dussard is some kind of god or something. I've got his address in the delivery book. Let me see. Uh, yes. Here it is. Hmm. Okay. Uh, delivery book, Ligri, 44 Boulevard, St. Martin. Okay. Sorry. Kinnara. Where, where, where are you taking me again? This time it's on, on the roof, isn't it? Did it go in? Up to you, man. You, you, you don't have to if you don't want to. Oh, there's a ladder. I see that. Susanna. <laughs> Desard told me about her. I arranged a time and thought about all the things I would do to her. <laughs> I started to lose my nerve, though, so I drank a couple of bottles of wine. By the time I got there, I couldn't go through with it. Turned around and left. Anything else? I heard two men in the dark just when I was leaving. One of them said, After it's done, come and meet me in the church courtyard at Saint Nicolas de Champ. I'll pay you there. Hmm. Okay. Since Hall, book 120 Days of Sodom by Donatian A. F. Marquet de Sade. De Sade's infamous volume describing the depravities of four libertines locked in a castle with several dozen victims of both sexes. Some of the abuses described are underlined. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, let's see. So. Yeah, we've got the meeting place. Hmm. I put nowhere to go. Who are you looking for? I saw a couple of fellas meet here late last night. One of them was dressed all fancy. Must be a servant. I overheard him mention his master, the Marquis. Afterwards, the other man went into that building right there. 
Thank you. Alright, thank you, Mr. Vagabond. Oh, is it... <laughs> is it this building over here? Serious letter, you have done exceptionally well to find someone with access to DeSant's personal effects. Under no circumstances are you to do the fatal deed yourself. We must avoid having suspicions raised on the committee. Let our poor dupe do the work. He'll be highly rewarded. Fifty levers as are enclosed. When all is done, the DeSant will wither in jail and his immoral and pernicious influence on our citizens will be washed away just like away like so much aristocratic blood. L.A. de saint -Jules. Oh, we're trying to frame him, are we? Scrapbook. Okay, contains a collection of scandalous newspaper articles about Desaad, including his misadventures in Aquilae, Marseille, and at Lacoste. Ah, see, well, that's a plot twist, isn't it? So, what I'm thinking, I mean, we've got all the clues now, so, um, bloody well, I'm hoping, is it's his valet who uh, did the dirty deed of murdering the prostitutes to make him look guilty. Uh, well, thankfully we're just around the corner so I can just go in, jacuzzi the man and be on our merry way. Hopefully that should be the end of everything. I mean we can just head straight on into the second member next time. Excuse uh, moi Bloody son of a bitch. I'm unable to say what the Marquis was engaged in last night. It was a rare night off for me. After the degradations that I've suffered at the Sard's hands, I jumped at the chance to put a gruesome end to the man. Naughty naughty. Murder isn't the way, my friend. I do hope you're proud of yourself. That animal de Sard should be in here instead of me. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Jezebel killed. Hardly a crime in my estimation. Take your due. Uh huh. All right, cool. Done and done. With the vul the vulge. All right, cool. Let's have a look at that. Doctor, uh, sorry, Doctor, <laughs> Desaad's valet, after years of witnessing scenes of debauchery and being subject to humiliations himself, was lured by an agent of saint Ju to frame Desaad for a murder. The valet collected some of Desaad's personal effects, met with the saint Ju agent, and went to the brothel where he murdered Susanna in show of sadism. After the murder, he met the agent in a church courtyard for his payment, where the vagabond saw both the valet and saint Ju agent. Alright. Nice, and we're just about, well, we are precisely in the end of the episode. Uh, let's just check that there's still nothing going on. There is not. That does appear to be the end of that little misadventure. But there you go. So we've just got, like I said, just these three to go, and then we're down south. All right, let's have a look at our progress checker. So we're at 43% of things. We've got 1% today. 45% uh, Paris Stories, 40% Miscellaneous Character Customization, Skills, we can't do anything. Weapons, uh, I'm not sure if, just to double check that, that did unlock something we've already bypassed. Oh yeah it did. The Vulgar Portal Arm with a Broad Chopping Blade. Right here. Uh, equipment Colours, we should be on our last purchasable one, the Royal Purple, Purple Dark Mustard Brown. All right, which just means that from now on, we'll pop back to get the one for 60, the one for 100, and the one for 80. So there we go, memorize those ones. Uh, head, all right, so we had one, yeah, the tailored bourgeois hood, a more expensive hood or the sort of the sort of banker or a lawyer might wear. All right, cool. Uh, chest, wrote the uh, Master Musketeer coat, a coat actually worn by a member of the Musketeer de la Garde. Again, I hope I can afford all this with my assassin points. If not, I'll pick them up and uh, upgrade them next time. Uh, Master Phantom Braces, masterfully realised braces that once caught the eye of Marie, and <laughs> Marie, Marie Antoinette herself. Oh, we can actually keep on affording these. 
It's uh, gonna dent in my. Uh, is it Leah in this game? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, buddy, hell. The Master Musketeer belt. A belt actually won't buy a member of the Musketeer de la Garde. Yeah, that guy can't even afford anything else. Don't mind. Uh, upgrade them. <laughs> oh man, that is that is not good. He's very not good. Okay, right. So uh, this is. I will pick up the Master Musketeer breeches and upgrade them uh, between this episode and the next. So just bear that in mind. Um, they go to database, case files. Yeah, we had. We, so all that, yeah, yeah. Encyclopedia, people, Paris stories. Antoine Fouquier, Tinville, and the giant Iscariot. Right, cool. So that is where we're going to end it for today. In the next episode, we shall be starting up Memory Two of Sequence Six which should finish up the sequence entirely and with the remaining time I think we shall uh, let's see we'll start off in uh, Tudere I think just because it's the the easiest one by difficulty and yeah I expect it's not going to be a, a quick business getting through this territory it's bloody massive but that's we're going to end it for today but not for thank my amazing patrons my five pampas patrons are Ron Hyler and Ever the Snake you can find links to their channels as well as my other three pampas patrons in the description down below and on screen your secrets on my one pampas patrons thank you so much everyone it's truly appreciated and it goes a long way to top of the channel so I do thank you a lot for that and if you wish to join those patrons you can follow the link in the description down below to my patreon page but you don't have to do that because at the end of the day I hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll be sure to share the video and I'll see you guys in episode 29 bye guys